Gracie was born on October 3rd. She was a twin, and she and her sister were born at 32 weeks. Mama, I made a wish. You made a wish? Great. Gracie was a great kid. She was very, always very happy, always smiling. She had never been sick. And then she was having trouble walking. She started shaking all the time, tremoring. It kept getting worse and worse and worse. Grace came to our attention last year. Here's what she came in with. And you can see her mouth is turned down because she's got paralysis of the muscles of the face on both sides. And this is the brainstem, the part of the brain that keeps us alive. The brainstem is the command central in our brain. That's where all the billions of nerve fibers go that move the body, the arms and the legs and the bowel and the bladder. And here's a tumor sitting right in the center of her brainstem. There's only a handful of these tumors that have been seen worldwide. We had to try to figure out an approach to get there without disrupting the brain structures, and we had to go in this way. He explained how difficult the surgery would be, how serious you know, the consequences could be of it not going well. There was no choice. It needed to be done or Grace would die. If you look at sports figures, you know, we, I'm a golf uh, enthusiast, and if you look at uh, golfers, you know, they, before they take an important swing, the first thing they do is they step back about four feet and they take a practice swing. And when I thought about that, I said, you know, they're, they're hitting a white ball into a cup. And if you think about what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, we must find a way to be able to do that regularly, practice prior to game time. What we're doing here is we're operating on a bell pepper, and the idea is to learn the eye-hand coordination that's necessary to do an operation through a small exposure. That's really not a realistic simulation of a child with a brain tumor and the nerves and blood vessels and the texture that goes around with this and the bleeding and swelling that can happen. But with a three-dimensional printer, uh, we can make this patient specific. We're actually in the process of printing a brain of one of the children. You can start to see it forming. It allows us to print completely accurate reproductions of children's anatomy. So this is the game changer. Personalizing pediatrics is what we're really getting at. We can actually take the tumor in your child's brain and render that so that the surgeon can not only practice the operation, but practice that specific operation. We can operate twice, but cut once. We've operated on Grace, and we were able to remove her tumor, but this was not a walk through the park. She's had two surgeries. She's been at death's door when she came here. Then this is her most recent MRI, and this looks really good. You can see here's the brain stem, and the tumor is gone. And the good news is that the brainstem has reconstituted itself, and that's why I think she's doing so well. In this case, we got lucky. The surgical simulation is going to help us in the future. Not only do we have a great printer, but it's not so much about the printer, it's about this team. And so the team is expertise in engineering, expertise in simulation, expertise in radiology. In neurosurgery, we have a group of nine pediatric neurosurgeons, which is the largest pediatric neurosurgery program in the world. And what that allows us to do is to have the leaders in each of the subspecialties, each one of the faculty members, it could be a chairman anywhere else. We also have a huge simulation effort here that's been going on for over a decade. And that allows us to be at the forefront of taking this new technology of the three-dimensional printers and translating it to something that would be clinically applicable. And I believe that surgical simulation is going to change the way that surgery is practiced internationally. I've always told my girls that, you know, mommy's job is to keep you safe, healthy, and happy. So we're in the best place we can be. It's been amazing. They're amazing here. I, I can't say enough. Can you give me a high five? Okay, see you later. See you later. Alligator.